Hi and welcome back or welcome to my All The Perfume YouTube channel. In this video I'll be reviewing Strawberry Letter by Fleur. Firstly, thank you so much to the brand for sending me this perfume to try. This is a new launch for 2024 and when I saw the campaign crop up online I just thought everything about the imagery and the marketing was so fun and exciting and really helped by the fact that I love strawberry and my perfumes too. Now I have tried a few Fleur fragrances in the past and been really impressed with them so I had high hopes for the quality of the scent as well. I am really pleased with my PR parcel and I'm so happy that I get to share my review of this scent with you. I'm going to share with you how my PR box arrived and myself I had had a sneaky preview online where Fleur had reposted on their stories other people receiving theirs. It's just something I love to see and all the details. So let's open up and take a look. So let's open it up. And that image is just so striking. I made me feel this would be the perfect strawberry perfume. This is the box I received and it says here, red, ripe and juicy. Just everything I want in a strawberry perfume. And then we have this card here, which I'll read from. And then we have the perfumes as well. I think this whole vibe is really cute with the kind of picnic blanket gingham effect on the background of the scents. We've got cute little ladybirds dotted about and on the packaging itself there are strawberry seeds. I'm all about the launch for a fragrance. I think it's all part of the fun to help us get excited about the scent and this looks really bold and I just can't wait to get into the perfume. This is the card that came inside the box and it says arresting and forbidden. On the back here we've got information about the perfume from the brand and I'll read a little bit of it to you. It says, ripe for the picking. Alluring, addictive, and undeniably sexy, Strawberry Letter is a crisp, fruity command that opens with a playful juiciness and then transitions into an unexpectedly chic decadence. And it goes on to say, like a love note sealed with a kiss, Strawberry Letter is hard to forget. And on reading that, I just felt this perfume might be like Kayali's Eden Juicy Apple, a scent that is really fun, but has that kind of luxurious, decadent feeling to it too. So that just added to my excitement even more. If you were to buy the perfume individually, this is how it would come to you. In this box with the very cute red and strawberry seed effect, but I do like as well that you can also have it like this in its silver box. And you've got a little philosophy note from the brand on there. And it says our fragrances are inspired by memories, moments, experiences, and feelings. Those that are intimately personal and universally shared. So that is another cute detail. And we've also got here our keynotes written on the back of the sleeve there. So I love that. That's really good to have. And the bottles for Fleur are very satisfying. This is the 50 milliliter, as I'd said, and it's just weighty and cute. And I love the red juice as well. Let's get into these notes. So in the top of the fragrance, we have cassie leaves, strawberry garaget and plum nectar. In the heart of the scent, lily, red poppy and apple blossom, and in the base, earthy woods, tonka bean, and sugared amber. Let's give Strawberry Letter a test. Now I have already worn it for a full day, and I also tried it on the evening that I received my parcel too, and I love it. So on my very first spray, I absolutely did smell that intense strawberry smell that I was hoping a launch like this would give me. Really strong, juicy strawberry, but with some apple as well. Now, I don't know if that apple blossom should give us that strong an apple feel in the top of the scent, but for me, that's what I was smelling at first. Really good strawberry, but a little bit of apple too. Then I kind of felt that I was smelling something similar to Kayali's Eden Juicy Apple, but whereas that is a mixture of berries and it's black currant, and indeed it's the apple, this was very much strawberry. Strawberry taking the lead, so something different. The juiciness comes from the plum nectar, but really the strawberry and the quality of it is because the strawberry garaget is a French variety of the strawberry that is known for being so intense, so sweet and juicy. So that feels like added quality to this strawberry fragrance. It's a little sugary too. And then I spread it on the skin and I love how it smells on my skin very different to how it smells in the top at first. That becomes a beautiful, drinkable, but woody fragrance. Now, I don't know if that sounds odd because why would woody be something that sounds drinkable? 
But that, for me, was then the addictive quality that I'd get from my, my Kayali perfumes. And I just love that. That is smelling so good to me. So I was really impressed. Absolutely a strawberry perfume with a little bit of apple, a little bit of sugar, but the dry down on the skin is just woody, addictive, and strawberry smelling. I think the Strawberry Letter is a really fun day perfume for spring and summer. For me personally, I don't associate fruity smells with evening wear particularly, but I find that this is this playful, nostalgic, fun perfume that will really boost and lift my mood. The playful element for me, I think, comes from my strawberry association with childhood and lip balms and perhaps sometimes quite synthetic smelling strawberries, which this isn't, but it will give me that kind of comforting childhood feeling. But at the same time, as the brand wanted, you get that mixture with this, with the woodiness and the dry down. You've got something decadent about it too that makes you feel also that you're wearing kind of a bold, sophisticated fragrance at the same time. I love it. And it's one of those perfumes where I kind of wish you could have actually seen me opening the perfume and how excited I was by the details and everything about it. It is a scent that I'm going to reach for when I want to be uplifted in the morning and just know that I'm smelling good for the entire day. I have mentioned Kaoli's Eden Juicy Apple a couple of times and how I find the scent a little similar. But this is also like Burberry Her Intense and Burberry Her Petals, which are sugary berry fragrances. So thinking about how those smell gives you a little way in to what Strawberry Letter smells like. I was really happy to see that the brand recommend layering this perfume and they suggest layering it with Mood Ring, a scent that I'm really interested in because I've seen a few reviews crop up online. That perfume, as well as having an incredibly green looking juice, has dragon fruit pulp and also gummies listed as the nose. So I would love to try that one in its own right, but to mix with this, I think would be really interesting. In terms of other layering, I keep reaching for Kayali's Eden Sparkling Lychee at the moment. So when I first received this perfume, I tried layering it with that and it just smelled incredible. The sort of perfume you just can't wait for other people to smell on you with the two of them layered. With the fact that I was also comparing this in its own right to Eden Juicy Apple, I tried layering the two fragrances and that was also amazing and very intense. So I definitely think that with Strawberry Letter, we have a perfume that will be really fun to layer. So is it worth it? Now, Strawberry Letter, as far as I can tell, isn't yet available in the UK. But in the US, I was surprised to see that a 50 milliliter bottle retails at $99. So I thought, absolutely. I do think it is worth it because we get this beautiful bottle. You get 50 milliliters for that price too. And it lasts throughout the day. It's great quality. And with the strawberry, it's something different too. There still aren't that many strawberry fragrances on the market, I feel. So this is something new and exciting for your collection. I also think the fun of the launch, as I said, is a big part of it for me. And getting excited about my perfumes and knowing that there's just fun to be had in having this perfume. All the details and the packaging matter to me and it is a box that I will consider keeping. I don't often say that about my fragrances, but I really like the strawberry details on this one. So I do think that as a new launch, $99 makes this perfume worth it. I also really hope that these will be available for sale. This is a 9.5 milliliter travel spray of the fragrance. And I just think it's such a good way to enjoy perfume, but without committing to a full size bottle. And my husband wanted me to mention this little detail here, because even I won't struggle to open the perfume in this way. So there you have it. And I love the fact that it's actually a spray and not a rollerball, because I don't find I get on too well with rollerballs. I feel like I'm not really smelling the perfume. So cute, there we have it. And this is one that I'll take around with me. When I'm wearing this perfume, I want to be spraying it throughout the day. So if Fleur have these for sale, that is a really great way of experiencing the fragrance, really seeing what you think of it before committing to a full bottle. Thank you again to Fleur for sending me the fragrance. I've really enjoyed this and I feel that with Fleur, I have another favorite brand to add to my list. And I just can't wait to try more of their scents and add them to my collection as well. I do hope this gave you more of an insight into what the perfume is like, and please do ask me questions in the comments as ever. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and remember to subscribe to my channel. I have lots of videos to look back on, and lots more coming up as well. Please do go and find me on Instagram, where I post daily, on TikTok, and on my blog. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.